Yo, 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 what's up? Me and Jizvire are gonna look at ORS stats over time because we low-key were talking about like PL week 2 YouTube stats, like PL week 1 and 2 for like 30 minutes because they're stuff fucking interesting. And then I'm like, hey, I kind of want to see like how ORS has kind of changed over the past two tournaments. So let's do that. Okay, so. Oh, are we not looking at PL4 too? No, I don't really care. I don't really, no, no we, we got World Cup 4. We got, we, we got World Cup 4. Okay, so sure. I don't, I don't give a fuck about uh, the PL 4, so who cares? And World Cup 4 is like kind of a meme too. Anyway. I mean, it's kind yeah. of a meme, but I like to like... The, the fact that... Okay, so basically, let's look at like right now, like briefly. And, uh, I mean, it's only two weeks, but basically, Zard number one like the... But 32 is an interesting number. Do you want to talk about that, Gustav? I want 32 is an interesting. What do you mean 32 is an interesting number? I feel like it's kind of low, yeah. honestly. But I mean, okay, the reason it's low is because like, people don't want to like just like lols are their way through the entire PO. Is what I <laughs> think happening? Because like like up uh, Gurgle, his Zard usage is very low, and uh, it's partly because probably because like that just doesn't really interest him. And Zard is like the most boring way, but simultaneously like. It, it's like a an art of its own, honestly, right now, with like what you can do with it. Like, the, I don't know, there's just so much things you can do with it that mm -hmm. I low-key expected higher. Um, what, do you know what the number I was? In, uh, here, can you actually pass me usage of um, ORSLT? That's like, I don't know why. Like, ORSLT. I've yeah, literally yeah. never even seen it, so. <laughs> you haven't seen it? Okay. So maybe I saw like it for like two seconds and like didn't care. I don't know why I was excluding this from like the video idea. That's like almost, that's like <laughs> one of the most, that's like the biggest thing to happen to Oras in like super long. Yep. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's open this shit up. Yeah, 32 is like especially low to me because it's such a small sample size. I would expect a lot higher percentage. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so. Um, make sure my. Okay, I'm gonna like. Okay, I'm gonna change the dimension a bit. So, we're looking at 46 win rate on Zard, but 27 usage, which is like, also low, comparatively to yep. what I would expect, because I don't know, I was spinning Zard that door, like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about uh, anyone else. You had Zard. a lot of people that, like, have generally avoided Zard, though, like, Cave barely brought Zard, um, Lancer doesn't use Zard at all, <laughs> um, Dag avoids Zard a lot, too. Yeah, Deg is like, like a, Deg is like a motherfucking like Zard counterplay kind of guy. He's not like the type to like Zard Zard counter filler. He's not really that type of builder. A lot of times. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think what's interesting, what explains this low number is like Bikini number two. Basically, what we're seeing is like, yep. you don't you don't run both on the same team, like you don't. So it's like people kind of picking one or the other. These are like the go to. Like second and third because they're kind of better to do everything. And both these mods have insane tech potential, obviously. There's not much both of them can't do. I think Bikini is like more predictable right now than it should be. Um, but that will probably change. I don't see like complete like static Bikini. Like the more people will use Bikini, the more people will like bring cool shit with it. Uh, I haven't seen Specs in a while. Specs has uh, been kind of absent. But there's no reason it can't come back because. Slowbros probably aren't gonna amnesia right now. It's not looking like an amnesia bro at the situation, I think. Yeah. With like how agree. uncommon it is. So um, I think Bikini Zard splitting is very interesting. And then you got Heatran number five, which kinda represents the like deg type people that will like respond to the Zard by not using Zard of their own. And instead just running counterplay. And then you got Kieran Black number six because people started using Starf again. Um, I'm mostly not seeing that many interesting win percent things right now, except for, uh, like, Kurt, lol. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, there's, like, Diancy too. That did not win a game. Diancy <laughs> went over 9, what? Yeah, you just saw Dragonite also was terrible. Well, Dragonite is just bad, so there you go. Those are two imposter mons. Dragonite is, like, it's like a LARP mon, like, it literally, like, LARP competing, <laughs> like, Zard and other stuff, but it like doesn't like at least reliably. I, I I'm looking for the Scarf Rock Slide comeback. Honestly, I'm looking for it. <laughs> that sounds good. With all the like Zard, most of the Bikini, 
I mean, I haven't seen it rock slide a third in a while, though. Like, I haven't seen it happen. Instead, yeah. just, the D-Knights are just losing. <laughs> Six, just 16, my like, breath. <laughs> Like you're not you're not losing if you're rock sliding guards, right? So well successfully. Mm -hmm. Anyway, if they like mega their their god, you can just like be like whatever. Um Sableye at number nine with thirty-six win percent. This shit went great, right, yeah, that mama's getting farmed. Um I mean I don't know how to like explain this, but like Sableye just hasn't Okay, it's been a while since Sableye was at the top in usage and winning. It's been a very long time. So I'm going to look at like World Cup 4, Sableye was 50% win rate at number 10. 6.35%, not a lot. Uh, last PL we got number 10 and then 36 win rate, there you go. Sableye is just not winning all that much. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, World Cup is probably like really low. Yeah, it's fucking four, insanely it's low. Used four times, and they had yeah. two point eight two usage. Tied with like Slack or no less than Slack. And tied with Volcano less on a Mellow. Slacking. Volcano kind of came a little more popular, but Mellow like hard fell off in the meta, just straight up. Like Mellow fell off. Insanely, in the yeah. Stuff. And I mean, I still think Mellow's like kind of good, but it just fell off in terms of like usage and like overall like meta. Like Zarge's just running sub. Soft sport. There's yep. really not much more to say. And like, Sableye in this tour, it won 3 out of 4 games, which is cool. But it's like I'm saying, it's not at the top and winning very much, like at all. And it's just, the last time it did that was probably PL3 when I stand it, or like something like that. <laughs> roughly. Because I was farming everyone with Sableye that time. People just weren't ready because that was when like Metagross was like really, really popular and Zard was not like the universally like, like demon that it is today. So we looked at or SLP. Um, I'm gonna look at PL5 because that is like a very interesting tour. So you got number one, Zard, 27%. Not as much as I would like. I mean, I don't know. People weren't spamming Zard like that last time, so it makes sense. But what is cool is that, or what is like interesting is that it's twice as popular as uh, Kieran Black, which is number two. Why the fuck was Kieran Black number two, dude? What? <laughs> I guess I guess it was just Haban spam. I don't know. Like, it was like, definitely it's, Haban. Spam. Dude, it's, yeah. a, it's a new Zard County poker, but like it doesn't. And, and to be fair, no one was running counter Zard in this tour. That kind of is like more of a new thing, I'd say. But like, yeah. And that, and before Dex says I invented it in 2017, <laughs> but yeah. No, dude, that's that's how oh. it was invented by three different people. It was invented by BG Jungle, me, and Dex. We all like simultaneously kind of because I I first made it. <laughs> as a regular Kyurem and SM, and like, who cares about that? Like, come on. But then we kind of transferred it, like a few different people kind of transferred it to Oras. But like, that's a fell off anyway, so people are like, really like Scarf right now. So there you go. Uh, malt number three. Yeah, da, da. Do you have anything to say about that? Malt number three. Malt number three, that malt's trash, but that's like, oh, it's not trash. But you'll never see it be that high again, ever. I think yeah. that's like, I think I think that's a big byproduct of like Potato Chan new to Oras building and that tour, because I'm sure he bashed Finch a and lot. Like, of and like, there wasn't a lot of toxic Zardy as much. As, it was at the end mostly is when that started popping up. I think, yeah, pretty sure. I feel like ultimate attractive mons and newer Oras players though. Maybe not so much nowadays. That, is, but, that in like zone, um, dude. Fucking Magna zone. I don't think that mons are attractive to lower tier players. Or noob no, no, players, dude, not dude, noob, noobs love zone and Entei. It's like their no, favorite. Oras, dude? Okay. Yes, the, the, Entei is okay, true. Okay, okay, listen. listen. Is... The, the noobs, <laughs> noobs are the only people who use Entei in zone. Maybe they're not, like, attracted, like, oh, I need to use zone and Entei on every team, but, like, they're the, <laughs> they're the only audience of people that actually use them. And then, looking at this, yeah, that's um, fair. I'm going to keep going on PL5. Serp was number 19 with a 76 win rate. Which is like, this kind of, I guess, started the like, this like kind of kickstarted. Like, when I saw Crucify Soul Wind, I'm like, okay, Serp is the future of ORS. <laughs> it was like, it was like two of the exact same people. It was like, it was a uh, like Zard, Zard Serp. Serp. It was like Zard Serp. And then a Scarfer. And, 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 like a, and like a Zard counter plus Scarfer. Yeah, it was like, that was the exact same idea executed on a game <laughs> five by two different people. Like, that, that, that kind of showed, like, okay, here here's how you use Serp. But also, its win rate was bad in that tour, but like, who cares? That win rate. Like, Serp wasn't winning a lot. I think it was because Roddy was spamming, and then Roddy would, like, shit himself in pool. 
That's where I got <laughs> the idea. Uh, when I made Zard Y Sir Pax, I'm like, okay, I have Zard Y Hacks because that's a cool core. What should I round it out with? I'm weak to like Gyarados and this and this. And I'm like, oh, why not? Like, I don't need to make things that complicated. Like, I could just run Surf because I've seen Roddy run a lot of Surf and I'm like, Surf seems pretty cool. Because, like, outplaying Surf is like hard, dude. It's like an uphill battle that I outplay Surf a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. And if we're talking about a motherfucking PL5, well, I'm looking at Low Punny immediately. Yeah, Low Punny. I was gonna. Bring that that was up like that's like the the PL5 like champion. Uh, <laughs> you got 73 win rate, number 10, tied with like Togen. To being tied, Loft being tied with Togen Stabilize like the weirdest group of things. Like, <laughs> Togen is. is like universally like agree to be like bad right now. Like it just gets subzarded on. It just isn't as physically bulky or specially bulky as you would want a lot of the time. And uh, Sableye like is not common. So th okay. like, this is like the last yeah, time Love Lock would ever be like around Togan Sableye, like I feel like. Yeah. Togekiss was the flavor of the month that tour I remember. Well it was Everyone also like, was, a, like, noob, it was, like a noob track. It was like Poggers. That was another one too, yeah. OM room something, I don't know. Um, and then in World Cup, Tog was number 8 still? And I was like, no, it was above Lop, what? Oh no, it was tied with Lop, okay. No, it was above Lop. Nah, nah, it was above Lop. No, no it was tied. tied. They're tied, yeah. I'm <laughs> I was looking at Winnie. Yeah, that's Turak. Okay, Turak I did not think they would be tied. Wow, I predicted Lop to go higher, but I guess the Lop train was this DL. Number fucking 4 with an 18 with <laughs> 18! Which is insane. That's so yeah. low. So I guess, it lost again today too. Yeah, it did. Really good. Yeah. So basically, what happens with Lop is that like it used to be good at just Uga Booga and people because people didn't respect it in, in Oras. It was kind of like Gengar. In Oras, you can kind of just click Gengar and win because like or like last year because like people weren't super like respecting him a lot, I guess, and like like taking it really seriously. And it's like, oh, I'm not gonna lose to Lopunny and Gengar, and then they fucking beat your ass because they're both really good. And, uh, I know you say Gengar kinda fell off. Um, I, don't I, think, I haven't yeah. really been building people. <laughs> so, the Gengar is out of measly 3 usage, 3.85%, and zero wins! Gengar is yet to win an Orion. And also lost today. <laughs> it did lose today, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it continues to grow. As like kind of falling off, um, but like Gengar's always good. I don't know. I, I think Gengar's a little worse than I used to think it is, just because I always kind of figured Gengar would be like pushed forward a bit. But then it like hasn't been. I don't know. I think Gengar's really good. <laughs> Push forward with him now. <laughs> I mean, oh okay. Uh, speaking of that's that, where let's look at the ORS. Okay, in ORS LT number <laughs> fourteen, <laughs> number fourteen. 53 win rate. <laughs> 50, you know what, dude? 53 is like kind of close to 60, I gotta say. Those are like yeah, it is. Those are numbers. And then I'm gonna look at <laughs> Toga Kiss was like low in Aura SLT, but it had a good win rate. Surprisingly. I think Earth Girl was using it. I think I think he was using that team that lost to Ferrothorn. Or something. <laughs> well, I was Cave, dude. Pretty sure it was Cave. Well, I was used eight times, so it's probably both. Okay, yeah. also, we're literally talking about Aura SLT. Okay, Snorlax. Snorlax! Woo! Eight. Okay, I'm gonna see what it was used on. Eight. Okay, in PL5 it was 1.87% lol. With an 80% <laughs> win rate randomly? What? Um, do you wanna talk about Snorlax? I'm gonna go get some gum. So I'm gonna log Snorlax, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, Snorlax, or SLT, it's worth noting that that was a lot of most, I think almost all of those were Jacob using double Snorlax. Which is, which is kind of crazy. Because I know he bought it at least twice, so that's already four uses, so it was only used four other teams and four other people outside of that. Yeah, I don't know, Snorlax is a super recent development, with yeah. the, like, Stall, Rocky, Helmet, Estos. So I definitely see I definitely see it going a lot higher, this PL, but it doesn't show it right now, but I, should, I think it, it should, will. It should go higher in PL. But I, I think it definitely should. It's funny, because Snorlax for the longest time, it was like B plus A minus one of BR, and everyone was always like, dude, why the fuck is Lax this high? It doesn't do anything. Like, drum is bad. And then now it's like proving, like, yeah, I kind of deserve it the whole time. Which, like, happens, dude. It happens. Yep. So I think, like, a problem with the, the Derek Lax set was, like, it didn't beat Charizard. <laughs> it's, it's too passive. Like, it's because it just, yeah, it was also just way too passive. I like, I like Shawshank. I think it's a good development. But yeah, I feel like. 
Charm plus counter is in its own right into the meta. So I don't think that set is bad. Because that team like farms Zard Y, or that, that, that set yeah. farms Zard Y teams. There's like not a lot of ways that Zard Y teams beat Lax right now. Need like Blob, I yeah. guess. Or Sock is another one. A fighting type basically kick W. I mean, I'd say, the, I'd, say the, I'd, say the best, I'd say the best partner for that is like Tarak. Because beat Zard X well. Zard Y now? No, for um, like if you want for a Zard Y partner that beats Lax, I'd say Tarak is the best fit. Like, yeah, you beat Jarvis 80% of the time. Stay woke. <laughs> See my rock slide, bro. Yeah, then I guess countered easily. <laughs> I guess not a huge inch wall. Exactly. Um, let's talk about Metacham. It was <laughs> number 30 in the new hero. 3.8. Uh, sub 50 win rate somehow. <laughs> I just dropped the ball. Last PL, Metacham was like just low as fuck. It got a little higher in this tour. Actually, dude, it was it's funny. This is it was used five times in PL and uh, yep. seven times in LT. And isn't doesn't PL have like more games? Yes. So oh, actually, did it? <laughs> I don't actually. I don't, actually, like... I don't know because it's it's like a doubly limb tour. I literally don't know. I'm but, pretty sure PL had more games. I don't know though. And just I have no idea. Somehow. Two sub 50 win percents. Medicham was even lower. It was used three times in World Cup, but like World Cup is like a tiny tour. It's like small. Mm -hmm. And then, in the PR right now, list. it is number yep. 10 with 83 win rate. So, <laughs> so okay, me and Chris are about talking about this. Basically, Medi's a new law when it comes to like an Uga Booga simple physical attacker that uh, hits really hard and like has like a okay Zard matchup. Medis is definitely better. Kind of? I don't know. I don't see- I don't think there's a lot of Timid Zard Y right now. So, that's good for Medi. Timid Zard, yeah, that, that shit is extinct. I mean, it doesn't need to be extinct. It, like, is okay. Yeah. But, yeah. It's, I mean, Zard Y is basically extinct, unironically. <laughs> no, it's- the, it's Oh, okay, the thing game. about- The thing about Zard Y is it's always been extinct except for a small group of people. And it's not different right now. Yeah, you see very few Zard Ys right now. Yeah, and Lax is like 6.41%. So it's, it's showing it's like a very... Also, Latios? <laughs> it's Latios and Snorlax are randomly tied. Latios has an 80% <laughs> win rate randomly. Also, Guard having an 80% win rate because it's a broken Mon. Ball. Mm -hmm. Guard is like shown... Hey man, it actually like can beat Zard. Because that was like the biggest issue. It's like, oh, well, you lose to Zard. But now it's like... Well, for Zard X, which is the most common Zard, it's like, your match is not actually that bad at all. I mean, that was an ORSLT development, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It How was four and four in ORSLT. Yeah, that was, that was a lot of Jacob using it. And you can just like 50 50 X a lot of the time, or outright win, depending. Yeah. And, um. I see when the Encore is. Okay, here. I'm gonna say it. I think, like, CM on guard is, like, completely useless. I, I, I've i <laughs> never found a use for CM on guard. Like, you have Encore, dude. Just Encore. You click it. CM is good for, like, Volcanion, I think. Actually, no, I don't think you win that anyway. You can probably win yeah. it if you, like, EV for it. But, like, at the no, I think time, you. I think you roll it with Hyper yeah. Beam. Plus. I, I've seen it lose, so it probably will. Yeah, you're right. It definitely does, doesn't have that much applications, yeah. I just think Encore is really good because like Slow Bro Lol. And then Icy Wind mm -hmm. is just good because Icy Wind Encore just makes logical sense. And you know, it's new. Pretty good. Um like uh Garden is number four in or SLT. And because I like Jacob Law. And now it is sitting at pretty number, low. number fifteen, which is pretty low. But that's because I feel like OM is probably doing his own thing, and uh, <laughs> there's not as many guard standards right now. It's like a different player base. Yeah, something yeah. I used to, about my own usage is I didn't use Gardevoir very much. Like my my team in World Legend today was built around Gardevoir. Yeah. Because I really was not using it the past few months. And um, because like you think about it, the ORSLT and like the current PL pool are like completely different. 
Like, very different. You had motherfuckers like uh, Sayuze playing or SLP. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like, and like Kaif won it, James was playing it. Like, dude, that was like. Not a lot of people who, who are playing that tour are playing Oras right now. Who wait? Who who is the overlap? I kind of think. Uh, Jacob. Well, oh, Jacob's not building Oras. No, no. Right I, I want to. I'm talking no. about playing right now. Clicking the. Oh, button. Earth. It, it's just Earth Gurgle, I think. Earth Gurgle, but he got subbed out. Lol. <laughs> and he got he got juggled into like SS or something. He's playing SS, yeah. Yeah, let me look. I'm pretty sure it's just Earth. Let me check real quick. So like, I'm I'm comparing and contrasting two tours like with like completely different players. In 100 yeah, it's different pools. Literally, literally just, um, literally just, uh, what is his name? What the fuck? Earth Girl. Uh, Earth Girl. Yeah. <laughs> I just keep playing. Jazz wasn't playing. TJ wasn't playing. Yeah. Okay. My turn. Which is, I think that's why Lax is kind of low. Is because it's just not the same group. Um. Also. Slowbur and Mew is like being the same as a coincidence, but they're kind of like the same thing. They're like that psychic that like is like Slowbur is a pro player mon. Mew is like <laughs> kind of does whatever. Um, do you have any other things that like with mons that you think would be interesting to look at right now? It's you can, talk, you can talk about Kieran Black and Man. Oh yeah, Manaphy. Okay, basically Manaphy was was number twenty two last PO. Not too common. Um, and, or SLT was also uncommon? Yeah, it was rare. I thought it was spammed. It was spammed on the ladder, uh, that's what makes me think. No, it, <laughs> it was on the ladder, it was all on the fucking ladder. Bro, why is Manaphy tied with Umbreon and Or SLT? Fucking Lancer, dude, holy shit. <laughs> that mod is bad, Lancer. Um, yeah, used, a li used a little bit more in PL, or no, yeah, I'm totally tripping. I was looking at. Uh, it was just like super game. uncommon in all of the past tours. Then yeah. now you see PL so far. It's fucking number seven. Yeah, it's number With seven. With an 85% win rate. Yeah. 85. 85. 85. <laughs> like, you know what mana right now is like. Okay. I always thought Custat Pigula was just fucking overrated because it's just not reliable versus a lot. Like, not reliable versus Zard, not reliable versus Steels, not reliable versus like. I don't know, some stall, like. Inu. Legit? Legit, it beats no nothing. Like I'm, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. It beats nothing. That's stall or specs don't beat. Yeah. Literally zero book. And I mean, it has the odds versus a lot of mons. But like, you can fifty fifty shit, yeah. But congrats on being able to fifty fifty among the last. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> like with a, with a cuss that one. Good job. Anyways, but like, yeah. Manaphy right now um, is writing a new set, and like those mons of new sets always kind of do good. Those like. Mega like Gengar type mons that just do something new, catch people off guard. People don't quite know how to build around it perfectly, they'll be like, Man, I can lose a stall man if who fucking cares? And then they fight a stall man if you can lose. Because it's like yep. being stall mana is like kinda awkward. I, mean, I personally think like uh I don't know. I mean Zard is a good way to beat it if you're on like Adam and X, which is like a cool set. Cause people are spending that Chesto shit and like uh that's how you use that game. It makes no mind you know that you use I think just DD three oh. times and then like two KO or something. I remember that game, yeah. Adam and Zardex is probably the best way to beat mana with Zardex besides like some like fucking SD bullshit. I mean I think <laughs> SD Zard is low key legit though, is a thing. I think it yeah. It's getting a lot more applications with meta developments. Yeah. Um Okay. We haven't even like have we uh, we kinda explained the malt fall off. Um, the rise, on it. the rise and fall of Lop. Um, what was Lop using? In, oh, it was number fifteen in uh, or SLT. Not bad. That's probably where it should be, realistically. Yeah, that's that's about right. I mean, it's it's like worse than a uh, good portion of months, and then like kind of even with like. I mean, I still think Lop is A right now. So, like, it can't be anti-meta forever, you know. And I, I was yeah. that when I did my stupid YouTube video. Um, <laughs> right now, Lando T, quite high. Um, it's not an amazing win rate, honestly. But win rates are super like lopsided right now. Win rates a meme, yeah. I mean, it's a meme, but it's like, dude, th these mons are like either like super high win rate or super low. Like, it did win today. It did win today. Yeah, so it's at a 50. 
happening right now. And we're looking at, um, like, look at, like, Tito versus Lando. Like, <laughs> these win rates are huge, and I think it comes down to, like, player preference. The pl- people that are preferring Lando I are winning, and the people who are preferring Terrence are, are not winning this. Kind of like an OM room person who go to. He likes to I think. And, uh, Lando. Do you want to talk about Lando I? I don't really, like, understand the Lando I train as much. Lando I? I mean, it's kind of good. I mean, it's good versus Charizard. Yeah. What more do you want? Uh, uh well, just well, like. Is Lando T that beats, like, the Steels better? Like, Metagross mainly? Well, Lando I is, like, versus Subzard is 50 50 City. You have to. EP on the Mega or Rockstar on the regular, and then it, like if they DD and uh, if you sub and they DD, then it's like 50 50s on um, what it's like. I don't know. I think Lando is a bad Zard answer, especially with more flame charge than ever. Yeah, um, if you see more, that's why I think Lando oh, I I mean, is not. So it's not my charge hasn't on. even been. Re- <laughs> flame charge hasn't been revealed yet, though. Yeah, it's it just has. like been brought. Yeah, it has. It, it was revealed versus the Gengar. Week one. What? Oh, right, the trash in the series. It did. Uh, it did like fifty forty with Gengar. <laughs> I forgot about that. Motherfucker. Trash is the only other person that uses. Uh, yeah. Trash is only dude that uses Heat Sword. And then you got. I'm trying to find him on that fell off. Oh, oh, dude, Darchamp in or SLT was a king. It was. Number 12 mm-hmm. at 6%, and now it is You're at 2%. With, um, Fucking 2 uses it. I mean, and, 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 a, and a respectable 100% win rate. <laughs> like, I mean, win rate means nothing, but like still. 2 uses is like a meme. And it's like one of the actual Zard answers. It like hard counters it. Yeah, and you got uh, my boy Ferrothorn. Um, why are Chomp and Ferrothorn using the exact same amount? <laughs> okay, we use Chomp and Ferrothorn together. They're on the same team. They were brought it. Yeah, and like Zard last, right? Yep. Motherfucking, uh. Motherfucking. Like, that, this mod kind of shows how different the ORSLT and Snowground pools are. Also, <laughs> Volcarona being used twice. Heck. Okay. Volcarona being used more than Porygon Z. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Volcarona, Volcarona literally wasn't used in RSLT. Probably Wait. not. Yeah, it was literally not used. <laughs> <laughs> not once. Because it is worse Zard Y. I know. That's just, hard to believe. That's just bad. The only thing you can do with those lure stuff. And then just use Charizard and beat it. Yeah. And, uh, well, I mean, you can run like Endure Zard Y as like a. No funny lurk, cause like, like being able to beat bro plus um lop is like I no, guess I selling agree. point. Volcarona has good qualities. Beating bro steals lot. Yeah, but also Zard Y exists, so there you go. And sometimes you can beat Gran and shit. You run past show. Oh, and there's Zard beats that. Dude, actually, isn't the uh, nah? You do you run Rock Move on Medi? Cause maybe your like Medi matchup is not good or not bad if you run. Yeah, you need key, otherwise Zen kills you. Or just like, you don't need of his death, maybe. Yeah, you could. But, I mean, at that point, you should just run key. I mean, yeah, I guess you could run that on Pasha, but that's Mexican. Also, I'm looking at uh, World Cup versus PL, like, now. Mawa went from number 2 to number 6, and this is a small sample size, but I just like oh. noticing differences. Mawa dropped 4 slots randomly. Yeah. And, and Metagross dropped no. like also four slots. No, Metagross dropped seven slots. Though. That's crazy. Meta's that's like not a used huge, right now. That's a huge preference thing right now. I think you're seeing a lot of no steel teams so far this PL. Yo, like a surprising P- PZ gonna farm them. Holy shit. Oh yeah. But you're also yeah. That's, I, I can't I can't dispute that. <laughs> um, I don't I don't agree with the meta drop. Honestly, I mean that's another that's another reason my meta champs winning too. Poss- possibly. No, yeah, no, for sure. I, like, me- team comps are just not super prepared for Medi right now. It's yeah, they're not just like phys- 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 bulk- physically bulky teams are just on the decline. 
but Lop isn't winning because they they're beating Lop right now still though. Uh, I mean, physically bulky. There's a Lando at number Lando T at number seven. We got like yeah. But, I mean, that's like one mom though. Gary at number ten. You're kind of right. Gary at ten is kind of low. It's a bit surprising. Nah, Gary has never been super popular. Let's look at PL. It was number thirteen on SPL. Thirteen on SPL, yeah. Well, 20, I guess people were twenty-four. Twenty-four in World Cup. Twenty-four. <laughs> I forgot then, that one like fell off, and then and then in SLT was number ten, which is like literally exactly where it is right yeah. now. I'm just having flashbacks of the ORS ladder. I feel like that's where I get that perception from. <laughs> yeah, no, get up, farm the fucking ladder so hard. Because it is a ladder now. So there's that. <laughs> yeah. That was Wa popular. Waterfall flinches? Hell yeah, dude. Punch drops. Um, let me go on the last World Cup. Bikini number five. That's like literally exactly where it is right now. Bikini has stayed the same. People are using just <laughs> as much bikini as they did. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> Tarak was randomly number seven in the World Cup. What the fuck? Now it was used one time and lost. <laughs> I'm probably missed a Stone Knight with dude versus Art or something. <laughs> no, I would remember Maybe. that, but like it's like a meme. Yeah. I don't even I don't remember who used Tarak at all. <laughs> you got dude, you got Tarak and Audina at the same level as regular Hoopa and Pylos Swine. <laughs> Come on, dude. You're, you're doing my boy dirty. And also, Dynasty, dude, Dynasty fell off so hard. Okay, look. I, I still think Dynasty is just as good right now as it always has been. It's a fucking mega Dynasty. But, like, you got number 16 in the old World Cup, number 19 in last PL, number oh, no, 8 in World Cup this time, number 8, and then I'll see what it was. Oh, dude, it kind of fell off in, uh... Or so, too, got super it, lost, it lost 9 times out of 9. It got super fines. I think the ANSI team comps are just not that good right now. And like, uh, you see Sable, less Sableye, less Molt. I mean, I don't know, Zard, Zard Dianty is like always good though, Keith. Beating Dianty is I mean, beating Zard is good though. But also, the the issue with Zard uh, Dianty is... Tran and Kieran Black are really, you know, or it's like Scarf, Iron Head, Kieran Black. Because it's like, kind of awkward to like throw in another Kieran Black answer on that type of team. I think I ran that with like Gyarados last in World Cup. I don't know if I brought that team, but I had it. Uh, was that the team that you beat the Rachi team with in finals? Or am I missing uh, Oh, that was a different team. That was Lando Ma. Good care. That was... Wait, dude, did you run triple in, Tim? What? <laughs> no, it was Lando I on that one. Cringe Lando I. <laughs> and then... PZ is used one time. What? Here. <laughs> Actually, I'm curious. Be. Oh, dude, PZ was PZ was really high in um in uh four SLT. I feel like number fifteen is the highest it's like ever been. Let me see. Yeah, probably. Oh no, it was number ten two World Cups ago. Which I don't even know why I had this open. Okay. <laughs> I mean, two World Cups ago, GUPW was still playing, so there's that. Yeah, literally correlation right there. <laughs> but PZ kind of dropped off and came back in ORSLT, then dropped off again, like immediately after. Uh, that's weird. It is weird. <laughs> um, fucking Latios? Dude, are these all Mega? Are these all fucking Mega Latios? No. Y'all use no, Mega mean, Latios? No, that was Dez using a lot of. Regular Latios, I think, specs. Oh, yeah, on the Monocycle team. Yeah. And then. <laughs> the Malt hella fell off in the. Uh, or SLT. Malt, yeah. malt, malt users were not winning very much. 30% win rate. I mean, people saw Malt lose to Charizard X1 too many times. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, Chansey? <laughs> okay, I kind of want to drop. I want to follow Chansey. Okay, Chansey in the old World Cup. Was used twice. Um, NPL was used also twice. And this World Cup was used three times. And ORSLT was used a fuck ton. <laughs> yeah, um, this is K Fan friends, dude. And then it's it, really just. And then and then it fell off in this. Or, er, I mean, two two uses is not bad for only two weeks. It will probably go a little higher than that. But I don't I don't expect to see a lot of chances. It's K Fan ones, dude. I mean, Growl Chansey is really good, dude. Like until Sars Steve 
Oh my god. See, I don't, I don't think we're gonna see, like, SD's arms becoming, like, that much of a threat where, like, Growlithe and is, like, not good. <laughs> Alright, come on. I, I do, I do. Oh, also, for the people that don't know, Crucify ran sub SD Charizard earlier today to do that, <laughs> and then didn't send it out because you don't need to. Um, yep. but yeah, people are using sub, dude, there's maniacs out here running sub SD Flame Charizard, man. Keep, keep, <laughs> keep your wife, keep your babies. Um, Literally for fun, dude. There's <laughs> I mean, the go. You don't need a. You don't need to run up real set to beat the meta game. Yeah, you don't. Like, All you need is like three moves, and also you can drop those three moves if you like one of those three moves if you want. Don't drop. Don't player, drop too many. But don't drop outrage. By the way, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> That's a trap. Don't do it. Um, yeah, drop flare blitz though. No need to touch it. Yes, you do. You need to be mobile, man. <laughs> Also, nah. holy fuck, Serp was used so much in, um, in RSLT? RSLT, I'm guessing, yeah. Why? Who used it? Cave, I, I think that was a big cave mine, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, getting the finals of a tour. That was actually mean that uh, you have a lot of chances to use your type of mons. 65% <laughs> win rate. It's probably Kai's if it's a good high win rate because he won the fucking tour. And... Yeah. I'm looking at the bottom, it actually pains me to see Kabalion, Naito, Queen <laughs> so low with a 0% win rate. I'm bad. Should have not lost to Gohar, man. Axe was only once. It's kind of interesting. Same with Slacking. Slacking hella fell off. Third. Same with Don Fan. What the fuck? Don Fan never really had its moment where like everyone was like talking about Don Fan. Don Fan is just kind of a bond you bring, and then sometimes it wins, and then sometimes it doesn't. Cause it's like very like yeah. it's very like 50 50 like you just have to outpick it or outpick with it sometimes it wins sometimes it doesn't dominic 2022 <laughs> yeah i know shocking revelation but um <laughs> when was don fan at its highest it was used five times last pl i know i saw like a lot 1.87 wow um actually i want to look at reggie steel one point yeah. was used twice in an old world cup Five times in PL. I don't think. I'm pretty sure that one's not been used at all so far. This PL. Not one, right? You still? Yeah. Two weeks sample size, but yeah. Yeah, you're. Uh, oh, dude, it was number 12 in World Cup. What the hell? Yeah, I think PJ, PJ, PJ brought it quite oh, a yeah, bit. Yeah, and, and Radu with that stupid Reggie Steel Mall out team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Reggie Steel has not been used a single time. Guys, or as people bring Reggie Steel, it's like pretty good. I mean, at least it's hard, so like, be wary of that. Use it to lax, too. It's a stall mall that's not lax. She has opportunity cost right now. Yeah, I feel like Lax is the, same, is the main character when it comes to stall mons. Like, Bro and Venu are kind of moment. being shoved aside. And like I just feel obviously because it's been used zero times. Um, yeah. Why is Ladio CC so high, dude? Whatever. Because <laughs> does use it like three times in one series. Three. Yeah. That's, and then, that's, that's fucking, then we saw Mega Ladios use. Mega Ladios plus two mons that destroys art. <laughs> yep. This is yeah. This is what the metas come to. Three Zard counters on one team. Cannot lose to it. Yep. Um, jump is oh yeah okay I, I'm not out of things to say this is this is a good talk man so the or has nodes out there for all for all five for all five <laughs> I was actually pushing it dude it really is I was pushing it some people just show up and play their games yep okay goodbye we're done. <laughs>